Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media and a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. to welcome you to another edition of my YouTube series, Hello World with Maya. For those of you that know, I post vlogs every 8.30 a.m. every morning. I have taken a break because I need to edit a series of uh, vlogs first, but I'm going to try and edit one tonight and one for tomorrow. I have one for tomorrow and have another one available on Thursday. And those are going to be up at 8.30 a.m. And I also need to get back to my written blog on uh, WordPress, which is scholarly. And I think those of you who watch my blogs on a regular basis might enjoy my written books as well. So what I would like to do is, first of all, recommend that those of you who are uh, viewers to click up here in the upper right hand corner. This is a, a video that I posted. It's called uh, Why Social Skills is Not Ableistic. And I uh, said some pretty strong things yesterday, or last year because uh, I've noticed a lot of autistics that are uh, angry because they think that learning social skills you know, involves conforming to the norms of society. And I know that uh, Autistic Hoya slash Lydia Brown has been pushing that. She's with, I mean, she, I mean, sorry, I mean, uh, their pronouns are they, them. They have been pushing uh, that mentality. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to disagree with Lydia on that. Um, here's why. Number one, learning social skills does not uh, cure your autism, and it never will. I learned social skills when I was 21 years old, and I mean, I learned how to uh, appreciate other people. I learned how to look up, shake their hands. I learned how to be polite. However, that did not cure my autism, and it did not uh, enable me to meet a boyfriend, and it did not enable me to make friends with neurotypicals, which some of you are referring to as holistic. I keep forgetting about that term, but I've been using neurotypical versus atypical. Rather, for me, uh, I still feel like an outsider, and I still struggle to fit in other people's mold. And there are people that do want to cure me, and they think that I need to behave myself. And yes, there are times where I have to behave myself. They're just appropriate versus inappropriate behaviors. And I mean, you can't flip the bird off at somebody anytime you want. I mean, you can't flip the bird off at somebody at a movie theater that takes you off because you could lose your privileges to go to a movie. Uh, one time I got into a massive fight with another woman because uh, of the way the line was set up. And I happened to drop the F-bomb on her because she was an instigator. And she said nasty things. And the lady at the lady who was running the cashier came and told me, "Do we think we can see a movie today?" I said yes, but because I couldn't understand, I thought she was asking me, um, "Are you feeling good enough to see the movie? Are you okay?" What she was really doing was setting me up for failure. No, we can't see the movie, but we can watch it tomorrow. So, uh, I'm sure I have social skills, but. 
I can't say the F word everywhere that I want. I can't say the F word in a movie theater because they like to keep it G-rated, even though there are movies in the specific theaters that are rated R and, or NC-17, which is no children up under 17. But I just, I can't drop the F-bomb anytime I want. And so that's why. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention to those of you, learning social skills is not a form of carrying autism. It is a form of, uh, gee, I don't know, learning other languages. So imagine, um, a lot of people like to say that we're aliens from other planets. And for us, we can't understand all these languages of allistics or neurotypicals. And so, in my case, I think that if somebody smiles at me, it means that they're happy to see me. But there are hidden nuances in there in their body language, just like their eyes, their hands, their feet, and there are different body languages. So learning social skills is just basically like the learning how to speak their language. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be cured of your autism. I don't know where in the world some of these uh, autistic self-advocacy organizations are getting these ideas from because it's all about learning languages. Like, one of the things I learned is if you look down, uh, people think that you're uh, suspicious. And there are autistics that haven't gotten jobs because uh, they couldn't maintain eye contact. And other people thought that they were going to be trouble. I've heard of autistics that get checked by security at uh, these airports if they look down and they don't look directly at the TSA. That's where they're going to look suspicious. So, just different things like that. I've also learned that there are uh, different types of body language that you can use to speak. Such as if you put, if you open your body out, put your hands, your palms up, and you point your feet directly at somebody, and you look at them even though you're not maintaining eye contact with them, that gives them the idea that you want to talk to them. But you have the closed posture, you look down like this, they think that you don't want to be bothered, you want to be left alone. So those are different things like that. And I've been doing a lot of research in the last year on different types of body language, like body language when somebody is not interested in you or when somebody is jealous of you. Say, again, somebody might be smiling at you with, with the mouth, but if you pay attention to their body language, like if you have another girl who's that envious, envious of you or jealous of you, they'll be standing far off in a distance and they're going to keep their eye on you. So that's a form of body language right there. So, um, so yeah, I just, that's why I don't consider uh, autism or and learning social skills as ableistic. Now, in terms of conforming to the norms of society, yes, unfortunately, we have some ignorant blokes out there, and I recently ran into a, a group of people who were supposed to be accepting and they were supposed to be loving, and I was trying to get involved there and all that, and yes, I had all kinds of social skills. I mean, I'm successful. I work in a university, and I have... Uh, all kinds of networks and all that, but some, for some reason, this um, little uh, synagogue, as I was telling you about, I mean, I'll put it in there later, had very, very um, ableistic and ignorant uh, thoughts about me, and the rabbi there even said that he wanted me to fit their mold, and that he wanted me to do things like everybody else, and he said that uh, he wanted me to stop pacing back and forth in the sanctuary, wanted me to be quiet, sit down, and yes, I have no problem doing those things because those are my written rules, but he was nitpicking me for every little thing. There are people out there who are ableistic, and that was ableism, and it was bullying. And I was also excluded because I paced back and forth, and people thought that I was, quote, aggressive. Um, so what means one thing to somebody else means something to the other. Um, but again, I have no problem at learning social skills, and just because I have the social skills, my autism is not gone. It's 
always going to be a part of me. Yes, I still stim. And when I'm alone, I've learned that I make little purring noises like a cat. I go, burr, 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 and I flap my hands. I flap my hands. Um, other times, I, if I have too much sugar at a party, it can be overwhelming. And if there's a bunch of concentrated noise somewhere, I start to rock back and forth. I am never, ever, ever going to get rid of it. But as far as uh, swearing at people, punching them in the face, um, that's very, very poor communication. Um, there are ways that you can communicate. I mean, you as autistics have different parts of your brain. Uh, you can write, you can do research, and you can write letters to your Congress, and you can write letters to whoever it is. Mention your situation. Do whatever it takes. Just don't swear at somebody and punch them in the face. And stop jumping to conclusions that uh, learning social skills is ableistic because it's not. Again, it's just learning a, a new type of language like learning French or like learning German or possibly learning another math uh, language, which is mathematics. That's a whole story into itself. Anyway, I'm out of time. If you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and also be sure to share this on your social media account. And I'd also like to um, point out that I have written blogs on WordPress.com. You can find these under Hello World 240 at WordPress.com. And finally, uh, check out my hashtag uh, Hello World with Maya. Until next time, I'm signing off.